Hi friends and welcome back. It is good to be here again with you after a week away on vacation. I hope you had a wonderful week. If you're joining with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Longmeadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire, and I come to YouTube twice each week. I come every Sunday with a message for a, a worship service for the entire church family and every Wednesday with a message for the children of our church. And it was, uh, I had a wonderful vacation away and I am, but I am glad to be back and worshiping and I am back just in time for a wonderful celebration that we have every year at the church and at every Christian church around the world. On this particular Sunday, we gather for, we, we, for what we call Palm Sunday. It's the day when we remember when Jesus entered into the great city of Jerusalem and the people were so happy to see him that they waved palm branches. It's a type of tree. We don't have them here in New England, but it's a type of tree they have in warmer climates and they were waving these branches and they were putting them on the road and they were putting their cloaks on the road for him to walk all over and he was right came in riding on a donkey and they wanted to, it was like putting out the red carpet have you ever heard of that putting out the red carpet like they do at awards shows or very special occasions for people to walk down and this was exactly what they were doing and they were incredibly excited and they were yelling hosanna hosanna which is hail uh, it is just a way of saying, yay, we're so glad to see you. And they were, there were so many people, thousands and thousands of people who were so excited to see him yelling and waving their palms. It was, an, it was like one big party, one big parade that was happening. And they were so loud and so excited. But there were some people in the city who weren't that happy about it. And they were worried that with all of this noise and all of this shouting that the Romans who had conquered them were going to get upset and they were going to get nervous and worried and maybe they might hurt people because they wanted to to shut things down and they wanted people to keep quiet so these religious leaders were going around to people saying you know to sh 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 you know, calm down, calm down. Just, you know, please don't shout, don't draw attention. And they said to Jesus, please make your people be quiet. Make your people be quiet. We can't handle this. And Jesus said to them, you know, if all the people were quiet, even the rocks would sing out. In other words, nothing's going to stop this from happening. Nothing's going to stop God from coming in and, and celebrating and loving these people. Nothing's going to stop. And if you try to stop us, the rocks are going to sing out. And so I, I, I love that image about the rocks singing out. And I was thinking about what would, the, what would the rocks be saying? They'd probably be saying the same thing as the people were saying, Hosanna, here he comes, here comes Jesus, the one who will save the world, the one who loves every one of us. And then, you know, there were other stones there in Jerusalem. There were all the stones that built the temple. And, and they might say, We've been here since Solomon, and we are so excited that Jesus is coming. And maybe there were rocks on the walls that built the walls around it and say, Jerusalem has been here for thousands of years, and there's nothing you can do to stop it from being here. And then I was thinking, I was looking at our church, and I picked up oh, this rock from our church, and it was in right next to the upper parking lot where we have recently um, dug up everything. I don't say, I say we, I had nothing to do with the digging up, where people dug up um, that and put in a new um, blacktop uh, parking lot so that we had more parking. And I found this rock beside it and I said, you know, I wonder what this rock would say. And he'd say, hey, you, 
I just got dug up so we can build a new parking lot and so more people can come here and worship with us. Or it might say, hey, I see hundreds of people coming in week after month after month rather to come to our breakfast and everybody is so happy when they come here or they might say that rock might say I hear people singing every Sunday and how happy they sound and there's nothing you can do to stop that singing and I am so glad I get to hear it and they might say you know I have been here since this church was built in the 1800s and I have seen thousands of people coming and worshiping here and they're so happy to be part of this church and they're so part they're so happy to be loved by God and they might say you know this is a day I look forward to every year a day when we can celebrate a day when we can be together as a church and shout and sing for all we're worth and I also came across this week in my office this bag of little red stones. They're actually glass. They're, they are, let me see if I can show you, they're just little glass beads and they're red beads. And I've had this bag of them for a while. And the reason I keep them is that every time somebody new joins our church and becomes a member of our church, I give one of these to them as a reminder that we come together as one church. Red is the color of Pentecost when the church came into being and when somebody joins our church they become part of our church, part of our church family and we love them very much and we want to give them something that is strong and hard and something that they can carry to remind them that they are part of something strong, that they are part of something loving, that they are part of the church. This coming Sunday, we are going to be welcoming five new members into our church. These are people who have been worshiping with us, uh, some for a couple of years, some for just a few months, but they have found a home here and they have found that this is a place where they can hear God speaking to them and this is a place through which they can serve God by serving people. And they said, yes, I want to be part of, I want to officially become a member of your church. And so we are so happy that on this Sunday when we are celebrating that so hard that the rocks themselves will sing that these little rocks will also sing and they will be carried by people on, as long as they wish or they'll be put into a special place for them to see and to remember that they are part of something bigger than themselves. They are no longer alone but they are part of a church who loves them very much and this is to help them remember who they are and whose they are for they belong to God who loves them more than they can ever imagine just like God loves you so I thank you so much for joining with me here today will you uh, join with me in prayer God we just want to shout Hosanna we are so excited for this celebration that we will have this week and we will wave our palms and we will sing our favorite songs and we will rejoice. It will be one big party. And as part of that, we are so happy to be receiving new members into our church. And we ask that you bless Bart and Janet, Patty and Alex and Bill as they become new members of the Longmeadow Congregational Church. They become officially part of our family. We have loved them for a long time and we are so glad that they have made this decision to officially join as members of our church family. Bless them and us in our relationship together. Hosanna and amen. 
Thank you, friends, for joining with me here today, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope that I will see you not only this Sunday, but the following Sunday when we will celebrate the great feast of Easter. And we hope to see you either at our 6 a.m. sunrise service or our 9.30 a.m. worship service at the church. Until then, my friends, remember, I love you, and above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.